Good afternoon, it's time to bring you some sports news here on Media Live with me, Thierry Nya. Now, get set for two weeks of women's football bliss in Ghana towards the end of 2018. That's because the Confederation of African Football has settled on a date for the 2018 Total Women's Cup of Nations. Um, to be hosted in Ghana later from November to December in 2018. Now, the uh, preliminary uh, qualifiers are going to be beginning in February 2018. The schedule was one of the key decisions by the Confederation of African Football at a 39th General Assembly meeting, which is underway in Addis Ababa. The Women Championship in Ghana will also serve as uh, qualifiers to the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup. Later on Thursday, the delegates... Uh, will make uh, the biggest decision yet with the elections for the CAF presidency due. Incumbent Issa Hayatu is seeking an extension on his 28-year uh, stay as CAF president. Madagascar's Amad Amad is his challenger. Now let's take you to the Alisa Hotel where 63 delegates uh, drawn from various sports federations um, have gathered to elect a president of uh, the Ghana Olympic Committee. Ben Mensa, who was a, a member of Professor Dodu's administration but resigned later, is contesting his former boss. Naneke Amankwa reports from the Ghana Olympic Committee Congress currently going on at the Alisa Hotel. At the Ridge Arena inside the Alisa Hotel is where 63 delegates will be voting the next president for the Ghana Olympic Committee. It's the third edition of this election and is between Francis Dodu and Benunu Mensa. We wait to see who will become the next president of the Ghana Olympic Committee. I have here with me the triathlon president, Bawa Fusini. Bawa, first of all, let me find out from you. What do you expect from them? The way the campaign has gone, which one of them wins? He needs to do serious reconciliation. Because there have been a sharp division between these two personalities. So no matter how or where it goes, the person has to reconcile with the other side for us to go. Because one side alone cannot do that. How do you see the performance of GOC for the past years now? For where I sit, for where I stand, I think the GOC have done enough. They are, they are, doing, they are doing a good job. Because they are able to rake in $170 million sponsorship. And I know there is something on the Ghana, uh, Coco Ghana. And I know Jim is also coming on board. So there are a lot that they have done for what I said. Uh, but I don't know what other people also think. This one is a personal view that I'm, uh, I'm expressing. For me, they've done enough. There should be a change or continuation. Uh, once they've done enough, there should be continuity. GOC President Professor Francis Dodu has delivered his report from 2012 when he assumed office. The electoral commissioner present here are set for voting to get underway. Nanekia Mankwa, TV3 Sports. Now to some Ghana Premier League news and ahead of the biggest fixture in Ghana football between Accra Hearts of Folk and Kumasi Asante Kotoko at the Accra Sports Stadium on Sunday. Kotoko midfielder Eric Donko tells TV3 Sports his side's concentration is on midweek game against Wafa at the Babayara Stadium later today. The Hearts game is very important but uh, we have a uh, header to cross before playing Hearts of Folk on Sunday. So what? We are doing now is thinking about Wafa. We are thinking about how to play Wafa, how to beat Wafa before going to uh, or thinking of the Haas game. You haven't lost a match since um, the competition began. What has actually motivated you to put up such splendid performance? Okay, uh, the motivational factor is uh, the fans. We've gone two seasons without the league trophy. I think uh, the fans deserve better. Uh, they have to get something to cheer about this season, so we are doing our possible best to make them happy this season. Now, some Ghana Premier League fixtures. The lineup for the games coming up uh, today on March Day 7 of the Ghana Premier League are a mix of great games from all uh, eight venues. So, on your screens, you do have them. Tama Youth are going to be facing Accra Hearts of Folk. Bicham United against the Omina Sharks. Great Olympics after a defeat to Accra Hearts of Folk will face Inter Allies. Brecum Chelsea against Borga All Stars. Adriana Stars, the current leaders of the GPL, will face Mediama Sporting Club. Kumasia Sante Kotoko in prepar preparation for their game against Hearts of Folk will face Wafa, while All Stars, the champions, will face the Busan Dwarves and Ashanti Gold will also come up against Liberty Professionals.
And that's exactly how you bring an end to today's sports bulletin here on Media Live with me, Theo Inyan. Keep watching TV3.